Hello there. So, you want to check the oil level in a car. Good idea. Why? Because engine oil lubricates, cleans and cools critical components, so there has to be enough of it. Your engine might be damaged if there isn't. In contrast, there can't be too much oil. That can also be damaging. Now, here's the good news. It's easy to check the oil level, and I'll show you how. Grab a pen. Welcome to Car Spy TV where we discuss buying, driving, maintaining and selling cars because it's interesting. So, if you like this sort of content, subscribe to the channel. Right, that's sorted, let's check the oil level. Step one is to park the vehicle on a flat surface. This is important. Uneven ground makes it impossible to get an accurate reading. Next, switch the car off, then wait a minute for the oil to settle in the bottom of the engine. Oh, hurry up! Now open the bonnet and look for the handle of the dipstick. This one's mine. As you can see, it's easy to spot as it's in a prominent position and it's a bright colour. That is typical. However, if you can't find your dipstick, consult the car's manual. Now pull the dipstick to remove it. As you can see, it's a long, thin strip of metal that stretches all the way to the bottom of the engine. It therefore sits in the engine oil and the oil sticks to it. On this basis, you measure how much oil is in the engine by noting how far it rises up the dipstick. However, you probably noticed that I simultaneously wiped off any oil with a rag as I withdrew the dipstick. Why? Because this oil might provide a false reading if the movement of the engine as it ran pushed it artificially high up the dipstick. So, replace the dipstick, then wait a few seconds for the oil that will provide an accurate reading to stick. Now. Remove the dipstick again, and this time take a reading from the high and low marks on its tip. Ideally, the oil should be at or close to maximum. Finally, replace the dipstick and give yourself a pat on the back. And that's it, job done. We've successfully checked the oil level of the car. But before you go, do me a favor and click like on this video, that helps me out, and leave a comment. For example, how do you remove engine oil from a jumper? Oops, anyway, that's all for now. I'm off to the dry cleaners.